Hey Libra, welcome to your reading today. This is your light work session for March 16th. We're going to meet here every Tuesdays and Thursdays as well to see what's going on in the sign of Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome on in. I'll give you a couple minutes to go ahead and just trickle on in here. We're going to do this live today. Uh, this is the first light work session I'm doing for Libra. I'm very excited to be returning to YouTube. I was on YouTube years ago. But now I am doing some spiritual readings, and I'm glad that you've joined me this morning. And let's see what's going on in the sign of Libra for Oracle to start. We're going to take the bottom of the deck here. We have Bridge. I'm going to read the card to you here. It says, stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. It's a beautiful card. As you can see, lots of bronze and brown hues going on. And we have the sun, which is illuminated here, or the moon, I should say. I think what this is saying, Libra, is that you are the bridge to whatever season you are coming from. So if you had a really bad chapter this last season, you might be transitioning into something very huge. I'm getting that it's something monumental and motivational for other people to see as well. You might be seeing a lot of 333 right now a lot of the manifestation number 1111. This might be coming to you too in the form of dreams, uh, very vivid dreams that you might wanna start writing down as well, Libra. Um, this bridge here card tells me that you're highly intuitive at this time. You understand that you are bridging the gap between those two seasons and that you're coming forward renewed and rejuvenated. A lot of you might be taking a lot of rest this season as well. So let's go into our written channeled messages that have just come to me from meditating on the energy of Libra. We have 1111, 333. I have 711 here. Dare to dream was something I kept hearing. Um, green and yellow might be significant or prevalent colors in your life right now. Uh, cranes or crows. Um, something quick about cranes. They're very protective creatures. They're very beautiful, right? And so I think you're kind of in this graceful period, Libra, where you're learning to fly on your own. And there's a lot going on with Libras right now coming from a tough season. So I'm not surprised that these graceful creatures are somewhat of a symbol to you right now. And water, um, I was going to mention water might be something you might be going to a lot lately too. Maybe swimming, maybe a lot of interaction in water, or you just really like your spiritual baths. Um, which is another thing. Let's go to, um, let's use the tarot deck light seers and see what's going on for Libra today. What's Libra's overall energy today, spirit? What's Libra's overall energy? Top of the deck. We have the two of cups. Um, there might be some sort of romance blooming, maybe a new love or somebody that's about to walk in your life that is going to somewhat light up your room. It's going to light up everything that you're passionate about. This could mean work partnerships, and this could be new best friends that are coming in or just friendships that are blossoming in your world, Libra. I want you to pay attention to these partnerships in this month of March and try to focus all your energy on how you could be a better partner and be a better person for this person also. Be a motivator, be inspiring, and maybe teach them how to balance their skills as well. Next card, let's ask Libra what Libra is hindering Libra at this time. Spirit, what is hindering Libra at this time? I did it a little messy on that last one. Hindering Libra. Hindering Libra spirit. What is hindering our Libra today? Bottom of the deck. The hermit. You might be hermiting yourself lately. Um, I'm also getting that there's higher intelligence coming to you. A lot of knowledge. You might be learning new things or new skills. The hermit is always introspective. You're always going within, right? But you don't want to closet yourself too much away from society and making yourself somewhat of a loner. Um, I would deject from doing that and start to use that knowledge to share with others. That could be an avenue of 
creating your own tribe or going and finding them or finding your community if you haven't already. So just pay attention to not hermiting too, too much. It might be a little bit bad for you, Libras, because sometimes if Libras hermit too much, it becomes somewhat of a habit, right? And let's get two more cards for your energy today. Libra's energy today. What is our lovely Libra's feeling? Libra's top of the deck today. High Priestess. I'm not surprised about this, Libra. High Priestess is highly intuitive, in tune with others, knowing what's going on all the time around them, being very spiritually connected on a higher plane, right? As you can see here, the moonbeams above her head are very enlightening to the point where the knowledge is going through this carnal space, right? So we're learning a lot, we're moving forward. Like I said here, with this other card, the Two of Cups, this might go hand in hand with partnerships and being able to display that out in the open instead of hermiting, right? And we wanna combine knowledge and share with others especially if it's spiritual and it's especially if it can offer comfort to other people. We're going to get some of the past life oracle going here. Just going to split the deck a little different today. Let's see, see what we have after we shuffle. And Libra's had a really rough like winter, I'd say. And so hopefully there's some good luck coming as well with, um, with passion and artistic creative endeavors, right? Or if you're starting a business, or if you're starting an online community, or if you're becoming a YouTube reader, or if you're starting a channel, uh, you can just venture into so many things. Past life for Libra. What is the card that wants to appear today? Let's do middle of the deck, just to be fun. We have authority figures. Uh, there might be like a maternal or paternal feeling around you, Libra, that might sometimes be controlling your efforts or might be hindering what you're trying to do in life. Um, this could be in the form of even a controlling boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Um, this could be, like I said, a parental figure. This person might actually be holding you back from your dreams. So you want to pay attention to anyone who's kind of clawing to hold you down or anybody in your sphere that has been trying to inject their energies onto you. You want to hold on to your energy and you want to create healthy boundaries, authority figures. Let's get one more card for the sign of Libra today for their light work session. And I'll be doing videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So we'll meet here in the mornings and we'll do proper readings for you to get you feeling motivated each day. One more card for Libra for the past life oracle spirit. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know today? We're gonna go with top of the deck. We have the arts. I love this card in this deck. There's a guitar here, obviously with a piano to the side. And the arts are something that Libras have no problem in, in this department. Very creative Librans who love to draw have artistic endeavors, sometimes even in music and singing. I know with me, I play guitar and I sing. So this is a healing endeavor. And sometimes Libra, you need the arts to kind of calm your ass down, right? Um, so sometimes we need to step into a world that's different, right? Than our regular nine to five or our regular school day. The arts might actually be something of comfort to you in the times ahead in March. And if you can display that or show other people, this might be really, really lucrative for you. So just pay attention if you're good at drawing or singing or making videos or editing, anything of the creative sort, this might be a very wonderful adventure you might wanna go down or revisit if you haven't in a long time. Let's get one more tarot for Libra. Just split the deck here. I do split the decks a little funny because I feel like the randomness speaks. Um, there's a lot of readers on YouTube who'll just kind of go really, really fast, right? And it'll be a mess because all the cards will fly. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily 
mean that your life is a mess, but I just feel like when you cut the deck in such a random motion, um, you seem to find a little bit of the truth in between the cracks. Let's get one more tarot for Libra today. 10-10 on the clock as I said that as well. Top of the deck, Page of Pentacles. So there is this youthful energy around you. Doesn't even have to be in finance. It could just mean that you are ready to go on the new adventure. You're ready to go on the road with it. And as you can see here, this is a very, very young page in this artistic drawing here, but she's very proudly holding the pentacle. And I want you to pay attention to that because if there was a time in your life where you felt proud of something or proud to show it, Libra, this might be something that re-inspires you. And uh, I just love how she's standing proudly with kind of one leg tilted. And um, it's a bit of like a hoping, right? There's a hoping energy, um, not only to bring in some good luck, but good favor as well. Page of Pentacles for your last energy card. Um, that was today's session. I hope you guys got some sort of inspiration from this. We will meet back here tomorrow morning for your energy read, Libra, and I hope you love this. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.